Hey Floss Tube. I'm Amy. I love toads and cross stitch. Um, this is Floss Tube 80 and it is May 14th, 2022. Um, I've got everything. I have FFO, FO, whips, starts, UFO, gifts, haul. So I have like everything. <laughs> um, so I figured I would do a floss tube real quick. My husband is at a car show. My son did run, run to the pet store to pick up crickets for his lizard. So he might pop in, I'll have to pause. Um, and the dog keeps barking at the birds on the feeder. So I might have to pause a little bit, but it will be fine. Okay, so first off, um, I wanna thank, y'all are the sweetest commenters. Thank you so much. Y'all always leave me the sweetest comments. Um, Sarah, I have not taken a picture of the curtains for the bus yet because we didn't go camping. It rained Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so we canceled our camping trip. So I did not get pictures of the curtains for you. Anyway, okay. Um, two people gifted me some project bags. Uh, my girlfriend, Becky and Kate, thank you for the project bags. Um, Anne sent me a card sweet sweet card thank you Anne. with um a needle threader and cute little stickers and my girlfriend leah noel who is aviatrix stitcher she sent me a cool little package too with wonderful fabric and the cutest little frog card and a, a shark calendar <laughs> so thank you everybody um let's see so a lady reached out to me her name is olga she is let's make crafts art on etsy and she wanted to give me a free pattern but i ended up um purchasing the pattern i didn't want her to give it to me and um i will show you that pattern in my haul and i'll link her etsy shop below so let's get started where should we start my husband's computer's right here and it's making noises so i don't know what it's doing Okay, first, I'm gonna be reaching also. Um, this is by Hello from Liz Matthews. It's called Butterfly Cloche. And I did one of the butterflies and followed Liz's tutorial on how to make the paperweight. And look how cute this paperweight is. Yep, so cute incredibly easy uh, we have an antique glass store here in town so I've picked up a couple of these to make these paperweights so yep I love it and then another FFO y'all my favorite my huckleberry farm by the blue flower, Janine McGowan. So I made lots of changes to this. Um, I changed lots of the colors, dulled it down a little bit, as in, I think the words had more color in them. The house was yellow, I changed it to green. Um, I used a lot of her colors, but then I changed a little bit. Um, there was a lady standing here and I didn't want any people in it, so I added a chipmunk and a mushroom from a different pattern that I had. And I think this bear was down here also, and I moved him up. So I love it. It's hanging in our bedroom, so I just lay in bed and stare at it. And I got the next one to go with this in my haul. So you will see once I finish this, I was like, oh, I can get the other pattern now and start it. So I don't have fabric for the other pattern yet though. But yes, I love it. And I got this frame from Frame Solutions. I'll have to put it down in the description box. Um, I can't remember they were having a sale. So I framed it myself. Like I had the frame custom made and sent to me. 
and you can see the back. I've got it pinned, I pinned it, and then double-sided tape the back parts. So yeah, I, <laughs> I'm in love. Okay, now I'm just going to pick up my pile, no order, no particular order. I am in a class with uh, Lori Brecklin from Not Forgotten Farms. She's having a class the end of May. Let me see, what is the class called? Have my bag here. Busy bee tray. So we're going to be making this in the class at Not Forgotten Farm. Donna Ray and I are going. So we got sent the little kit. So we have to have our little bee skep stitched. So I started my little bee skep. So I still have probably two more weeks to get this finished. And then there'll be like a little scissor fob too and we'll stitch that down here in that corner. I'm not sure what fabric this is, but I feel like it's a 28. I'm stitching it two over two. And she supplied all the um, DMC floss. So I'm excited to see Lori again. Here is her card. And I'm gonna put all this back as I go because it'd be a hot mess if I don't. And I'll get more stressed. <laughs> mm, okay, here is my full coverage that I've been working on. And I will put in before what it's gonna look like and before pictures if I have them. So here is, it's called Wish You Were Here by Artisy. Um, this is a 25 count. I'm doing it one over one full cross. Yeah. And you can see those sharks popping out. This is going to be the one with his mouth wide open that you can see his little teeth. And I think this right here, so that's the nose of that one shark, I think. And I think this is the middle. Like, this is halfway right here. So it's not gonna be very big. And I feel like this is halfway. So it's not, it's gonna be a pillow for our bus. Our camper bus that we camp in. So that's my full coverage. That's the only full coverage I worked on this last two and a half weeks, I think. Okay, so yesterday was Friday the 13th. And I pulled out this one that I have not worked on in forever. So I probably do not have a before picture. It is Emily's House by Lindy Stitches. And I'm changing, changing everything. I wanted to darken it up a bit. And I'll put a picture here. This is my inspiration picture of what I want it to look like. This is where I'm at. So I believe I worked on the roof and I filled in more of the windows on that spooky house. This is Oaken, I believe, probably 36 count. Yeah, it was fun to pull that back out again because it's, it's been a very long time. <laughs> I don't know if I, I didn't open all these up for y'all. This is a kit started by a new Calico, Christine, and is it Cat Talks? Somebody, I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway. Um, this is a Riolas kit. I've been seeing blue jays in the yard and it's making me want to stitch on this, so I pulled it back out. 
I changed the wool acrylic floss to DMC cotton floss because I don't like stitching with that wool acrylic. And if you want my conversion, um, just let me know. I will email it to you. So this is where I'm at. I worked on the belly of the bird and I started the background over here. And there is a little chickadee out there on my porch. So <laughs> I'm getting distracted by the bird outside, which is a chickadee. So yeah, I love this. So this is the Ada that came with the kit but it's just not the floss. And I absolutely love how it's turning out and I love working on it. The Riolis patterns, it's a wonderful pattern. I love it. It's just that floss. I wish they would not use that acrylic wool stuff. Next is a new start. Oh, I tried to do Mania, Sania. Lindy Stitches did, does Sania, where I work on something during the week and then I get a new start on the weekend. I have failed. I've only done one new start because my whips are calling to me and I, I mean, I do want to start these things because I want to stitch all the stuff, but I want to work on my whips too. So I only started, I think this is the only start I have um, besides my kit from Not Forgotten Farm. So I started this one. It's called Toadstools and it is a Russian kit and I'm using the fabric and the floss, which is cotton. <laughs> it came with 27 count and I'm, instead of stitching it over two, I'm stitching it over one, which is very fun. And This is where I'm at. Um, so you can see I started on that little fern, fern leaf right there. And it was supposed to be, you know, like this big, but now it's only going to be little. And my son came downstairs while I was working on this and I showed it to him and he has claimed it. Yeah. So he wants it when I get done. So that has been very fun. I love doing the one over one. Okay, this is an FO. This is a fully finished. Did I bring, let me see if I brought the cover picture. Over. Yes, I did. Okay. It's called October 31st from Cottage Garden Samplings. And I only did the raven or crow and the pumpkin. And it's done. I love it. This is a Be Stitch Me fabric, 36 count, one over two, called, I think, After the Harvest. I got it in my, when I was in the Fabric of the Month Club, which I'll probably rejoin after StitchCon, because I love her fabrics. So yeah, this is so cool. Um, I want this framed, or I was thinking of putting it on a bag, like making a cool bag and putting I don't know, um, a fall autumn leaves coming out of it for the fall and hanging it. So, yep, love how that turned out. This next one I stitched with Colette, the highway stitcher. It is a gold collection from Dimensions. I'm using everything. I used the floss and the fabric. We try to stitch on this on Sundays. I miss some Sundays all the time, but it's okay. It'll get done when it gets done. And this is where I'm at. Um, 
I believe I finished the back stitch in here and I don't think I had that done yet and I'm I think I'm working I worked my way around this bobble right here so I feel like I've done a lot even though it's I don't know been only two weeks Oh, and I did, so, what did I change? Those dark areas in the top of the bobble, they're red, and I changed them to brown. Because I don't want all that red. So see, it's all, it's red up there. I changed it to brown. I'm probably gonna change that to brown, that to brown. And I'm going to do my name in green, green or brown, to take more of the red out. Okay, let me fold this up. This one was one of my Whipco calls. So I worked on it the first half of this month, which is May, right? Yeah, May. It is um, a Thea Governor kit that I got from Diana. It is Kismet. Let's see, I changed out the, first of all, what is it called? I think it's called Butterfly Honeysuckle. And I'm using the floss, but I changed out the fabric. I changed out the fabric to picture this plus fog. And I feel like I got a lot done on this one. Doesn't it look good? It looks so good. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's going away though because I'll start working on my next Whipco draw. But I, I can't wait to pull this one out again. This one is from a magazine kit that someone had sent me. Uh, the cross stitcher maybe? Yeah. It's from this magazine. Cross stitcher. Issue 361. And this, this is a kit, so it came with everything to make that little turtle. But I switched out um, some of the floss, where is it? I've lost it, hold on. <laughs> so, if you, the shell is pink. I changed it to a green, a uh, Victorian motto. I think it was called Romaine. And where the blue is, I did a different green. So here is where I'm at. Working on the bottom shell, so the top, well, not the bottom. Well, the bottom to this, but the other side of the shell of the tortoise. So this one is done, just working, slowly working on that. It's gonna be adorable. I don't know how much I worked on this. I think I only worked on this for one day, but, um, I wanted to show it anyway because I love it and everybody loves a sampler, right? So it's from the Scarlet House, Elizabeth, no, Sarah Elizabeth Brooke, 1842. And this is a Lakeside Linen, 40 count vintage light exemplar. And this is where I'm at. I worked, I know I worked more on the brick and put in that bottom window. 
but the mortar of the brick, you can kind of tell the mortar of the brick is not done on the bottom or around that window. You can sort of tell the difference where it's not done. Uh, and I know I worked on like, like that. So not much, but it's progress and it's beautiful. Oh y'all, this is a treat. <laughs> okay, this is my berry bowl that I am stitching with Becky Socks for Mom. We're switching sides. We did switch sides. So she's got my side and I've got her side and I'm gonna show you her side. I mean, it looks just like my side did, but you know. Heartstring samplery and the Scarlet House. So we're both now working on the Scarlet House side. So this is Becky's heartstring samplery side. It's got her little initials in there. I'm so excited. And then here is my Scarlet House side. I think I only finished one more basket. That one maybe? So let me kind let me see if I can hold them up together so you can see the fabric difference. Mm. I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna try. <laughs> one of those boards. So here we go. Yep. I can't see what you're seeing. So yeah, it's a subtle difference, but it's awesome. So mine is, let me think, Stars Hollow and hers is, I think Patriots Brew. And they're both R&R, &R, 36 count. So, yep, I love it. I love that we have each other's pieces now. It's gonna, it's such a treasure. I'll always have a little piece of Becky in my house. Maybe you can kind of see the difference in the fabrics. So that's mine and that's hers. My last one it is. It is my last one, except I have to show you a UFO after this one. This is not a UFO. I love this. This is a dimensions kit called Wise Owl. And it's really that big, but I'm cutting it off to make it only that big. And I believe I changed out the fabric. I did to, I have no clue. Oh, yes, I do. Mm, Tyco 36 count. This piece is way too big for it, so let me fold it. And this is where I'm at. Uh, so I believe I was concentrating on that log or the branch that the owl is sitting on. So if you see the before, you'll notice that there, all that is where I mostly worked at. Yep. So cool. Okay, I think that's all I worked on in the last week and a half. No, two and a half weeks. Okay, let me show you what I'm UFOing. This has been a whip for a really long time, and I have pull it out every once in a while and try to work on it, and I hate it. And I tried to pull it out again. I just don't like it. I don't know what it is. It may be all the white stitching. So, I know. <laughs> it's so little. It, like, really. I just finished a Hade. And Huckleberry Farm. But I can't. 
I can I can't finish this. I can't work on it. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. So it's going away. It's I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut that part out and stick it in my stitchy journal. I don't I just I don't think I like this white and then his beard is white and then the hat is white. It's just a lot more white and I don't want to work I don't want to do it and life is too short to be working on something that you are not doesn't bring you joy and it doesn't bring me joy at all so yeah it's going away maybe maybe in my next video I can give that pattern away we'll see actually I don't know y'all I don't know if y'all want my stitching or not let me look hold up hold please Okay, if, I'm not gonna give it away this time, but if you'd be interested in having what I've stitched, um, just let me know. And then next time, if there were, there's interest, I'll, um, I'll give all of it away. And if there isn't, I'll just give the pattern away. We'll do that. Okay, um, haul, let me do haul real quick. So, okay, here's the pattern I got from Let's Make Crafts Art. Um, it's a uh, dragon eye. It's a full coverage dragon eye, which is so cool. So cool. So both my kids might be fighting over that one. Um, I did an order with Hollis Hands Creates because I finished my Huckleberry Farm, right? I finished it a while ago, but she's framed she's framed can you look at her again and since I finished my full coverage I was like I'm going to purchase some stuff so I got moonlight sampler and I feel like this is a companion piece to that I think they would be really nice hanging beside each other I will probably take the person out and put a toad right here because toads are nocturnal. They call all night long. I think I woke up to go pee at four in the morning this morning and my toads were calling still at four in the morning. So yeah, I'm gonna put a toad right here instead of the lady, but I'm, I'm excited. I, don't, I wanna start this. And Janine just came out with another pattern. It's an alphabet, it has animals. And I will have to stitch that one after this one. And then, so you can see my HL's moth right there. I went ahead and got BR's moth. So I feel like those two will be awesome companions together. And I already have the fabric for this one. I got this one at Dying to Stitch um, probably last year. So I just need to get the glossies. Yep. So that'll look cool with that one. And then I just went ahead and got a piece of fabric because patterns can't travel alone. This is Silver Fox 36 count by Fiber on a Whim. And it's a little more teal than that. I mean, it is, it's like a gray teal, but the tealish color isn't coming out very much. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and then my last piece of haul is a uh, tiny hummingbird stitchery. So Sammy J of Sammy J Stitches has a, um, a shop, like a needlework shop online, but it's on Facebook. And Vicky Stitch and Button grabbed this and is going to stitch it. And I had to grab it. And I want to stitch it with her because frogs and Vicky's favorite is dragonflies. So this is me and Vicky. And I 
I want to stitch this with her, so I had to grab this. And then uh, she sent a little floss tag too to go with it. So I'll use that with that. So it's um, Tiny Hummingbird Samplery, or sam Tiny Humming, oh, right here. Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. And she's on Facebook. So, and I think that is it, y'all. So I'm gonna put in some pictures and put in some befores. And oh no, no, I was okay. Sorry, there goes my husband's computer again. I was gonna show you what I was gonna do for Stitch Sania, and I failed. So I failed Stitch Sania, but I'll start these. So I was gonna start this one from Not Forgotten Farm. I have the floss, have the fabric, haven't started it. Emily C., I think you were gonna start this. When you do, let me know and I will start this with you. I think that was on one of your um, year stitch things. Uh, I was gonna start my next Viscornist. Yep, got the floss, got the fabric. Ready to go? Have I started it? Mm -mm. And the last one I was gonna start was The Woods Behind My House by Cooler Classic, Cooler Design Studio. Okay, got my floss, got my fabric. Am I starting it? Mm -mm. So my stitch Sania is a big fail, but there's still like two weeks left in May. So who knows, I may get some bug to start some stuff. I just have this bug to stitch on my whips right now because I'm loving my whips right now. So these will get started. These are like priority to start when I do start stuff. So, okay, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you everybody for your comments, for your likes. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you for just your kind words. I love you. Bye.